Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my weekly wax empties. I'm filming this on a Sunday, but these empties go from the 22nd of February through the 29th. So about eight days worth of empties. And as usual, I will leave timestamps down below. So if you want to skip to a specific section, I have candles, I have Scentsy, I have retail, other retail wax and vendor wax. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with a candle. I do have one from Bath and Body Works. This was from an Easter collection back in 2021. This is Marshmallow Fluff. Fluffy marshmallows, creamy vanilla, and whipped sweet cream. This was so good. I melted this in the bedroom. I loved it. Mmm. Amazing. Love, love, love. Would we purchase the scent? Then I'm going to share with you my Scentsy. I do have scent notes for everything. The first one I have is Rainbow Sherbert. It is part of the current spring summer catalog. Orange zest, sugared strawberry, and key lime zing. This is so fabulous. If you like fruity summery scents, this is so good. It's so strong. Oh my gosh. I love it. It goes into my club whenever it leaves the spring summer uh, for fall. Next one up is Dazzle Darling. This one is salted grapefruit catches some rays beside sparkling coastal water and calming beach sage. This was part of the Glamorous You Wax Collection 2020, 2021. 20 something like that probably 21 this is nice it was not my favorite out of that collection i think this is a good bathroom scent or laundry area scent but it's not something that i kept in my club next i have fluffy fluffy <laughs> fluffy fleece this one is black currant and cozy musk bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope this is a nice scent it's not my favorite laundry scent i prefer jamie time to this one or stargazing, which I regretfully do not have in my club. Fuzzy Blanket, which is lighter, but I prefer that scent profile. I think it's the heliotrope in here. It's not my favorite. I really did like this at one point, and I have a lot of, I have some larger clams that I'm trying to work through, but it's not it's something that I did eventually take out of my club. Next up, I have Aloe Vera and Ivy. This was a scent of the month forever ago. I want to say in 2020. Set notes are aloe vera entwined with climbing ivy and a splash of watery lemon, watery melon. This is a good bathroom scent. It's just not my favorite. I do have several, I think one or two more bars of this I need to get through. I wouldn't add it to my club. Speaking of fuzzy blanket, I do have one of these. Set notes for this are lavender, sandalwood, and sweet honeysuckle. This one's really nice. I just find it to be really light. I used to like covet this bar but I have found that it's super light and I'm just not I took it out of my club which was sad but anyway it smells lovely it's just light for me next up is darling Dahlia now I don't know where I got this bar from I'm thinking it must have come in one of those like bundles that since he's done in the past this scent is heirloom peach bashful Dahlia and strawberry and I melted this in the bedroom this was beautiful. Oh my gosh. If this came back and I bring back my bar or something, I would 100% add this to my club. It's a fruity floral, leaning more fruity than floral, beautiful bedroom scent. I really enjoyed that. Next up is With Grace. This is also part of the Glamorous You collection from a couple of years ago. Scent notes are alluring gardenia blossoms and sweet peony sweet pink peony danced delicately delicately with hints of soft musk wow this is really pretty i feel like it's done way better as it's aged it's gotten stronger because when this first came out when it was a fresh pour it was very light and i find that after it sat for a long time it's very strong it's nice beautiful bedroom scent it's not in my club but I'm enjoying melting those. Next up, I have Pink Cotton. This is a staple for me in the laundry area. Clean, clean cotton swirled with fruity pink berries and vanilla sugar. Oh, it's so pretty. It's beautiful in the bedroom. It's beautiful in the laundry area. That's, that's typically where I melt this. I love this, and it will always stay in my club. Now, I do have some 
limited edition, like limited time offering bars. The first one I have, well, the first two here are from the Willy Wonka collection. The first one I'm going to share with you is Everlasting Gobstopper, orange pop and candied sugar with bright tangerine. This was good. It, it reminds me of an orange scent. Kind of reminds me of oodles of orange, I think. It's, it's good. It's not my favorite out of the trio. My favorite out of the trio is this one, actually. Violet's Turning Violet. This one is blueberry, white cherry, and crystallized sugar. I really enjoy this. I, don't, I do feel like it has somewhat of like a, a bakery note in the background. I really like this one. This is the one that's staying in my club. I'm going to give Fizzy Lifting Drink one more try. But this one so far is my favorite. The next one I have is a scent of the month. I think from last month, Shamrock Splash. This is, scent notes for this is, oh my God, where's my spreadsheet? Scent notes are Juicy Tangerine Red Strawberry with a touch of Jasmine Blossom. This is a great performer. It's, I melted, I melted two of these. It was in the living room area. And I did like this. I wouldn't say it's a must have for me, but it was really nice. It threw like a beast. If you like fruity florals, I highly recommend checking this one out because it's really, really nice. Then I melted two of Follow the Rainbow. This is part of the St. Patrick's Day collection. This one is a vibrant mix of golden pineapple, sugared berries, and blood orange. This one was fabulous. I really enjoyed this one. It's a it leans heavily on the pineapple and the berries, less so on the blood. I don't really smell like a really strong blood orange note in here. Personally, this is really, really lovely. It's not, it's more of kind of like a, a darker berry scent. I really, really love this one. That one's going to stay in my club. Next up, I have the January scent of the month it is candy orchard scent notes for this one a cloud of sponge sugar mixes with sweet raspberry and warm and warm vanilla and a candy coated fantasy i really like this i think this is beautiful in the living room the kitchen even the bedroom i don't know i think it's that warm vanilla this is really pretty again it is going to stay in my club for a little while then I think what I have left are, well, this one is, I think, part of the Easter collection, Strawberry Bliss. Everything else I have are like new, new bars from the new catalog. So Strawberry Bliss is Strawberry Puree and Jasmine Bedazzled with Fizzy Champagne. This one was nice. Out of the berry scents, this one is not my favorite. I have one in the newer bars that I prefer over this one, but it is a nice scent. You definitely get a different note from that champagne. Yeah, and I can smell the jasmine in the background. It's kind of making this a, definitely a fruity floral note, but more of a, like it's not bright and fizzy. I almost get like a little bit of a licorice note in the background of this, but I don't, I don't think I noticed that when it was melting. Anyway, I did enjoy this. I would melt more, but I don't think it would go on my club. Now the rest of what I have are six of the 10 new scents that we got for the spring summer. The first one is wild cherry and Sakura. This one is wild cherry accents, the delicate beauty of Sakura blossom and pink Jasmine. This is really pretty in the bedroom. I think I'm going to buy several more of these and just let it sit for a couple of months and then try it again in the bedroom. I would say it was on the lighter side, but it was really pretty. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Next one I have is Moon Orchid. This one is bright bergamot, illuminates a path lined with beautiful night blooming jasmine and vanilla orchid. This one is nice. It is on the lighter side. It kind of reminds me a little bit of my wish. I don't know if it's the bergamot. I prefer my wish to this. This is heavy on the floral. So if you like florals, I would definitely give this one a try. 
Next, I have Sun Castles. Now, everyone's been talking about this one. This is, or at least that I've seen, sunny coconut brightens up tropical pistachio and sweet almond, evoking memories of the beach. Okay, I melted this in the bedroom. I could not smell it. I may be in the minority about that, and I feel like this may need to, like, another one of those bars where I would purchase a couple and then let them sit for a while. I do like the way this one smells, but it's light for me. I just, I don't know. What are y'all's experience with this bar? Next up is Evening Sky. This one is soft bergamot and rich Madagascar vanilla, paving the way for Midnight Lily. Another one that was really light. I think this is another one that I, I do like the way this one smells quite a bit. I think I am going to purchase a couple more bars of this and just let it sit for a while. I think this is a really, really, really pretty bedroom scent. And with that Madagascar vanilla, it just may need to sit. Give it some time to marinate. These next two are 100% favorites. I love these two so much. Berry Sweet. This is fresh blueberries and red strawberries coated in a sweet candy glaze. This is so good. Oh, it's a beautiful berry sweet scent. It's great in the kitchen. I love this one. I will definitely be picking more of this one up for sure. And my favorite so far, Cake Me to Paradise. I was very surprised by this. This is sweet cake infused with juicy orange and island rum. Oh my God, this is so good. This is fabulous. Oh, oh my God. If you like scents, like if you, if you and I jive on scents, try this one. It's like a bright, slightly bakery, but a really nice summer bakery scent. It's not overpowering. It's not decadent, but that's not necessarily what I want when it's 100 degrees outside. Oh my God, I love this one so much. 100% will go in my club at the end of the season. Yes, love that. All right, those are all the scentsy bars I got through. Now I did finish a fragrance flower. I think this was in Cozy Cardigan. Yeah, that's what it smells like. This, is, I don't remember, what, I don't remember the names of the flowers. It's this one. <laughs> I put this in my closet where I have a litter box and it lasted forever in there. I've already replaced it with another one. This one smells so good. I can still smell it. And sometimes I can get a little bit of the oil on my finger and then, mm. <laughs> but I will be recycling this i think you can recycle this or maybe you can't it doesn't say anyway moving on to other retail wax i have i pulled out a bunch of this these goose creek clams that i purchased in 2021 i was like i have got to get through these i've been really impressed with these so far the first one i have is loves to cuddle i don't know set notes for these because they're not listed on the back at all this was so good in the bedroom. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can get scent notes. Hold on. Maybe I can look it up. Yeah, I can't find scent notes for this. Anyway, this was amazing. I would repurchase it. It smelled amazing in the bedroom. Then I have Tiki Party. This was a nice fruity, tropical fruity scent. This was really good. I quite enjoyed that one. Next is Island Bliss. This one was lovely. I get almost like a tea note in the back, like a lemon tea note in the background. Oh my gosh, this was fantastic. And then last one I have is Day at the Spa. This one was more, I think of a, like a um, citrusy aquatic scent. It was not my favorite out of the four, but it's through like a champ. All four of these through like champ. Nice. I think I bought them when they it was like a sale going on. I think that's the only way that I would buy Goose Creek wax because it's pricey otherwise. And then I have, I think, two from Better Homes and Gardens. These are both part of my wax challenge. I have Berry Lemonade and Melon. This one was fabulous. Melted this in the kitchen and I really enjoyed that one. And then I have Hawaiian Fruit Market. This one was not, not my favorite out of the two. Yeah, I prefer the other one. There's a green. Oh, it says on here the set notes. I should tell you. Okay, Hawaiian fruit market is citrus, coconut, mango, papaya, guava, berry, tropical and sweet. Tropical, sweet, and vanilla set notes. There's something in here I'm not a fan of. 
Maybe it's the guava. I'm not sure. This berry lemonade and melon is lemon berry, watermelon, and sugar cane. This one's really good. Yeah, that one I would buy again. So that is everything from the retail wax section. Moving on to vendor wax. I have five clams here from the bathing garden. I melted duplicates that I had or doubles that I had in the living area. Well, I have two, but this other one just fell. Two of lacquered lollipops. This is black currant, citrus, cypress, musk, and ginger. This was nice. You smell the ginger in the background, but it's not my favorite scent, so I would not repurchase that one. Next up is Salty Mandarin Margarita. This was fantastic. I melted this in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Juicy Mandarin Peach Salty Margarita and Pink Grapefruit. Wow. That one was good. And then the last two I have, I melted together. This is the Olive Lemon Grove. Scent notes are olive branches, lemony, citrus, and bergamot. This is really good. It's, I think for me, it would either be a laundry room or bathroom scent moving forward. It's really nice. If you like citrusy kind of, it's almost leaning a little masculine. Almost. This is really good. Highly recommend trying that one out if you like scents like that. All right. Let me grab this other wax and put it up here and we'll talk about the rest of the of the vendor wax I got through. I have four scoopables from L3. Four! <laughs> Two are like the smaller four ounce scoopables. These are both in my wax challenge. Blue Lagoon, which is salty sea air, wild blueberries, and pink chiffon. Oh my god, these were both fabulous. This is so good. I melted this in the bathroom, but I would melt this anywhere. It was amazing. And then Overboard, which is Champagne Toast, Pink Chiffon, Strawberry Sugar. <gasps> this was so good. Oh, my God. These were both amazing. I remember this was like a movie collection or something, like Overboard the movie and, well, obviously Blue, Blue, Blue Lagoon. I can't speak. And then I have two of the full sizes. These are also part of my wax challenge. Fluffy Towels, Velvet Sugar, and Bomb Dia Bright. This was beautiful in the laundry area. I didn't really smell fluffy towels in this. I think this would be beautiful in the bathroom as well. And maybe if it was just Velvet Sugar and Bomb Dia Bright, this would be really nice in the bedroom. I loved this. This one, though, took the cake. Like, I need bags and bags of this or scoops and scoops because this was beautiful. I requested a scoop, like, for her to stock this in scoops on her recent post, but I think I may have come, like gone on too late because there were already like 300 comments. Bomb Dia Bright and Plum Tart. You guys, this was fantastic. It, I melted this in my living room. It was so strong, went for hours and hours. Every time I walked into my living room, I would gasp at how beautiful the scent was. And I've looked around and I'm like, okay, if L3 is not around after September, how am I gonna get this? And I don't know where to get this plum tart note. Who else has it? <laughs> I don't want all three to go away. No, I'm so sad. Okay, the next like clammy thing that I have, this is not really a clam, it's a tub. This is from Teddy Bee's. Milk, cookies, and blueberry cobbler. This was amazing. Let's see. The scent notes are creamy vanilla, powdered sugar, sweet milk, buttery cookie dough blended with blueberry cobbler. This was fabulous. Loved. Loved. Would purchase more of this. Absolutely. Next up, I have some samples from Vintage Chic Scents. I have magenta, spicy apples, and peaches are the scent notes. This was nice. A little bit too fall for me right now, but I think this may have been the last fall, one of the last few fall scents that like that I had to melt. I mean, I still have a huge bag of samples that are fall, winter, but I'm moving on to my spring, summer samples. So I have salted peppermint from Bathing Garden. Actually, the last three are Bathing Garden. That's a really, really nice scent. And it's also a great mixer. Beach blanket. I think this was like a laundry scent. No, I don't. That was nice. I'm trying to remember, but I can't. 
And then I have Pink Flower Balm. This one was amazing. I loved this scent. I would purchase like a larger amount of that. Moving on to bags. I have from the pharmacist's daughter, Fruity Blast. This is Rainbow Sherbet Cotton Candy Sugar Cookies and Fruity Pebbles. This was good, but it was a little bit on the lighter side. So I wouldn't repurchase that one. I have a couple from Teddy Bee's Love Birds. This is Sugary Lemons, Citrus Fruits, Green Floral Notes, Amber Woods, and a Hint of Vanilla. I melted this in the bathroom. It was super strong, really pretty. If you like green, like citrusy scents, this is really, really nice. I would probably repurchase this, but in a small quantity. I mean, I would probably get a tub, to be honest, because this is really pretty in the bathroom. But it's not a scent that I was like, I love it. It's just a really beautiful bathroom scent. But I think if you like scents like this, I would de definitely recommend it because it threw like a champ. And this is from seven, uh, July of 2021. Next, I have Sippin' on Summer. This is Orange Cream Soda, Sweet Pineapple, Peach Nectar, and Pink Guava. This was really nice. I would purchase more of this one. Not like a loaf or anything, but probably like another tub. I have a couple of things from Super Tarts. Gremlins. This was a band bag. This was Lime Smoothie, Rock Candy, and Fruit Punch. This was good. It was a little bit too sweet, like candy sweet. So I don't think I would repurchase that one. Next is Big Brother. This was, I don't, I think this was a half band bag in this style of packaging. Sweet berries, cotton candy, champagne, peach, cherry blossom, and white jasmine. This was good, but not a favorite. And I don't think it was very strong. So I wouldn't repurchase, well, in my house, I wouldn't repurchase that one. And then I have Vankman. This is another half band bag. Satsuma, lemon, lime, and sweet berries. This was beautiful. I loved it. Super strong. Would repurchase that one. I'm sure she's renamed it. From Second and Spruce, I have something from the Carnival Sampler. This is Cookie Concessions. And the set notes are sugar cookies, buttercream frosting with hints of caramel, apple, pretzel, and cotton candy. This was nice. It just was short-lived in my kitchen. Yeah, it was, it didn't last very long, but it smelled amazing. Oh my God, this. Okay. Scoopable wax melts espresso pretzels. This was a mini loaf. This is in espresso and pretzels. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is so good. It threw for hours and hours, like six, seven hours. I mean, that's a long time in Venture Wax World. And it smelled amazing. Amazing. I highly recommend this scent. I need this one to come back. I already have like two loaves, but I would buy more. It's that beautiful. From Sassy Girl Aroma, I have one. This is a Blackberry Frosted Cookies. It was one of her bag of blocks. This is blackberry pie, pink frosting, sugar cookie dough, frosted sugar cookies. This was amazing. Super strong smelling bakery note. Oh my gosh, I loved this. I would 100% repurchase that one. I have a bunch from Rose Girls, which is pretty, pretty normal for me because I have so much Rose Girls wax. I mean, this is like a ton. So I have, let me do the chunk muffins first. I have Rainbow Road and this is Lime Jello, Strawberry Soda, and Blonde Moment. This is really good. I would totally purchase more of that. I, don't, I think I actually have some more. I don't need to purchase any more because I already have it. Next I have Honeydew, Starfruit, and Lemonade. This one I melted in, it was for one of my wax challenges. It was like combined two scents and I mix this with vanilla ice cream. For most girls, it was a really nice blend. I'm not the biggest fan of honeydew, but I did enjoy that combination. I just don't think I would repurchase that one. Tropical Storm. This one is key lime pie, watermelon, strawberry, raspberry, guava. I've talked about strawberry, raspberry, guava before. It's just not my favorite scent note and I didn't think this was very strong. So I wouldn't repurchase that one. 
And then I have two chunk muffins of blue raspberry lime cotton candy, which is blue raspberry lime and cotton candy. This was really nice. I would repurchase this one. Mmm, smelled so good. And then I have larger, like, mini melter bags. This first one was in Beach Something. My sticker fell off. Beach Vacation. This is pink sugar and suntan lotion. I'm not usually a suntan lotion fan. But this one was really pretty in the bedroom. I mean, this is from August of 21, and I quite enjoyed it. I think perhaps after having it for so long, the suntan lotion scent was taken over by the pink sugar, and I smelled mostly pink sugar. I like that. The this one, these next two, well, next three were fabulous. Farewell, uh, Bet. What is it? <laughs> this first one is blueberry farewell Betty White. Oh my gosh! Again, part of my wax challenge. Blueberry muffin, cup of cake, white cake, buttercream frosting, cream cheese frosting, and cupcake at Tiffany's. This was amazing. Amazing. I loved that. This was all beautiful in the bedroom. Dark Kiss, vanilla bean, black raspberry, rose petals, and sugar. This is a Bath and Body Works type. I need more of this. This was amazing. Oh my gosh, I loved this so much. I need more. I need more. And then lastly, I have Petey Colada. This is lemon poppy seed cake, pina colada, and marshmallow smoothie. It's fantastic smelled so good. I love Lemon Bakery. I have one from L3, which I guess I had a bunch of scoops, but just one little, little bunt from L3. Pistachio, coconut, fluff, and boom boom. I didn't really smell this one. Yeah, this one was on the light side. It was pretty, but light. Then I have one from Knowles Farm since. So I just recently, I think I've only purchased from Knowles Farm twice. And I was like, let me see how it performs in my house before I go and buy a bunch more. I mean, I already bought from the pre-order. <laughs> but I wanted to try it. So I did Treats by the Fireplace. This is Sugar Cookie Royale, Sweet Bakery Dough, Zucchini Bread, and By the Fireplace. This was so good. This in my setup was not a, like, blow me out of the water and strength. But it was just, it was one of those scents when you walk into the room you're just like, wow, it smells amazing in here. And it's just this beautiful aroma. It's not, it doesn't like smack you in the face, but it's beautiful. Oh my God, I love this one so, so much. So much. From Hayden Rowe, I have, I think this is Souffle and Rudolph. This is Strawberry Margarita Blend. This was good, but I don't feel like it's a must have from Hayden Rowe, so I wouldn't repurchase that one. And then I have three from Empire Alchemy. The first one is Rose Parade. This was a souffle, I think. This is fresh roses, avocado sea salt, and hint of orange sherbet. This was fine. I'm just not a fan of roses. I melted this in the bathroom and it worked really well in there, but I would not repurchase that particular scent. Then I have pink grapefruit lemonade. This is fresh mint, vanilla bubbles, grapefruit, lemonade, and sugar cane. This was good. It didn't blow me out of the water in terms of strength, which, I mean, granted, this is from July of 21. So I just wait. I probably may have waited too long to melt it. It smelled really great. And I would try this one again and maybe try to melt it sooner. This one was fabulous. It was so pretty. Beverly Hills Hotel. This one is Paramore Orange Blossom Greenery Tahitian Vanilla Toasted Marshmallows. Oh my goodness. This was beautiful. I mean, it smelled like a fancy hotel. I loved it. I would purchase this one. So that is everything I got through. Whoo, it's a lot of wax. <laughs> Uh, so I'll be going back to doing like seven days at a time. So we'll go Friday to Friday. I'm trying to, it's easier for me to contain everything in a month. So anyway, I'm babbling. That is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well, staying safe and melting through your wax. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.